So today we will be going through how to enter in the expected value for the random variables that we talked about in the class. So if you go back to this example with the FR scores with the values and the probabilities, this is what we will be entering into our calculator. So I start by getting it other ways so I can see it. But going to list and spreadsheets, column A, I will call FR scores. Column B will be the prob or FR probabilities. No, and then just go ahead and put in the data that they gave us. And then put in this assigned probabilities that they gave us. and still doing the one variable statistics. I only have one list, that, that's that at bar score. So I want to make sure that that is in my X1 list. My frequency list, I don't have a frequency of one anymore. I have a frequency that's the probability. Frequency probability means the same thing. I still want my results column in column C. So click OK. So if you look at this information, Notice I have x bar. Remember, that's the mean of x. 8. So that answer is 8.128. Exactly the same as what we found on our mean on the note packet from earlier. So if I scroll back down and look at what else it gives me, I find, remember, sigma, little sigma means standard deviation. So it even shows me my standard deviation is the 1.473, which matches over here on my presentation. And if I scroll down, it gives me a bunch of other information as well. But it gives me my, that this SSX, remember it's a sigma, look at it, um, x minus x bar squared. Squared helps me remember that that's my variance. So there is my variance. So that is how I can find that information without having to do it, all those calculations by hand. Now this is real quick and simple. I could also look at the distribution um, and that for that bar chart. So, control page plus, data and statistics. Well, my x value is still my at bar scores, so move those over. But what I need to do is a little bit different. I don't want to go to menu. I want to hit control menu. If I remember to hit control. Hit control and then menu. And I want to add a y summary list. So that Y summary list is that probability, that F bar probability, and you'll see that it gave me that, that histogram that I can go and look and show just like I saw before on my PowerPoint that's skewed the left between the you know, 6 to 10 is for the majority of all the sports are. So that is how I take care of that. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and we can figure that out in class.